in today's video, man, I want to encourage single brothers and sisters to strongly look at your dating preferences and analyze them for are they keeping you back from what the Most High Yah might have for you? Let's talk about it. tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business. See, as believers, or so-called believers, we have to stop saying ignorant stuff. You know, I'll be damned if a sister being too dark or being too light is going to keep me from getting my blessing. It's going to keep me from getting the wife that I'm supposed to have. Listen to me. Now, I've heard men and women say this and it, 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 it happens amongst the melanated people. I hear men saying, you know, you know, this chick, is she all right, but she's too dark for me or she's too light for me. And I hear men saying, I hear, and I hear women saying the same thing. You know, he's too light skinned for me. He's too dark for me. And I, now, if, if I'm wrong, let's just test my boats a little bit. Now, if you think like that, and that's one of your preferences, there's a high probability that if you are a woman and you don't want a dark skinned man, there's a high probability that you've been with a lot of light skinned men that ain't worth shit. Now, if they was, why didn't you stay? Why didn't you stick around? Listen to what I'm saying. As a woman, if you say, okay, this man too dark for me. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to how ignorant it sounds. And if you've been out here in this worldly culture of casual dating, there's a high probability you've been with a bunch of light-skinned men that ain't worth shit. And if, 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 if you raise your hand and say, well, one of them was, why ain't you with them? Same thing, brothers. I hear men say it too. Sister was too dark, man, you know. I can't get with no woman that dark. What if, what if that woman was y'all fearing? What if that woman was the closest thing to wife material that you'll ever get close to? What if that's a woman that truly wants to fulfill uh, the duties of a wife, the duties of a mother? You just, you just pretty much cut her off at the ankles because of color, because of her uh, amount of melatonin. This stuff sounds crazy. I tell you something, man. You know, you know. I wish somebody would have said something like this back. You know, when I was in. Christendom, Christianity, but you don't hear messages like this. You know, they don't even, they don't even talk about stuff like this. They let you go out into the world thinking you got the truth, the spirit of truth, the spirit of understanding, but yet you just say all kind of ignorant stuff. You didn't been with these people that met your preferences that you said yes to, lay down to, but it didn't amount to shit. You didn't been down with all these women, defiled yourself, treating them like harlots, and you're whoremongering and you have covered none of them. And they all met your preference. I'm telling you, man, you need to look. It's so much deeper, so much deeper. The Most High Yah tells you to test the spirit. He didn't say test the skin color, test the skin color, and if it ain't your preference, turn from, turn. No, test the spirit, test the spirit. This is why men and women consistently get with uh, people that's not good for them because they don't test the spirit. And your preferences show your ignorance. Not only your, 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 your carnal ignorance, but your spiritual ignorance. They show your rebellion. Man, you got, you got a man or a woman somewhere 
that is truly ready for marriage. Truly re ready. And there's somebody out there that's praying to the Most High Yah for him to send them somebody, but your preferences block it off. This man come along, this man wanna be a good father, he's a good provider, spiritual covering, and you would cut him off. I, I just prefer a man uh, that uh, wears Jordans to a date. Cut him off at the legs. And this is why you will stay in bondage. You sitting up, and I just want a woman that, you know, you used to all these women being false and fake, and the most how y'all put a woman that's natural in front of you, and you, you cut her off. Well, she didn't have enough makeup on. Her hair wasn't down to her back. But it was natural though. That's how ignorant this stuff sounds. She was too dark. She was too light. I don't give a dang. If you missing both your kneecaps, if you can fulfill the will of a wife and as a mother, hey, we, we, hey, we, we in there, you winning. Cause you got a lot of these highly desirable people that ain't spiritually winning, that don't have salvation. But according to your preference, but according to your preferences, you rather hit yourself to somebody like that. You would you would hit yourself to somebody that meets your preference and bypass all the things that you actually need to look at. And then in the end, when it don't work out, then you would try to out them, man. She wasn't worth that. She wasn't worth shit. Man, that man wasn't worth shit. Why? That's the only thing you looked at. They were light skinned or they was dark skinned. That's it. And people out there have have had preferences like that. And said, oh, he's so chocolatey. Oh, she's so light skinned. And you just laid down and have baby with these people. And that's what your relationship is built off of. Worthless dating preferences. That's why you don't get nowhere. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking that thing. Gun barrel straight. Wow.